Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $94,766.17. In the past year, I am up $20,164.21. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $3,843.07. Today was a huge red day for me. I lost a ton of money. I lost over $9,000 in one single day overall. During the day, I was down $3,512.11. After hours, I am down $5,881.54. So overall, around $9,500 lost today. Now, of course, these are not realized losses, however, I am down by this much today, which is a huge amount of money to be down in one single day. Over $9,000 down in one single day. That's crazy. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, I am down $45. I'm selling Disney $100 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return $14.01. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return $420. I'm selling Disney $90 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return $121. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire August 9th. My total return $180. I'm selling SoFi $6.5 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return $84. I'm selling Google $210 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return $675. I have McDonald's $210 $200 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return $690. I have McDonald's $300 $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $440. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $653. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $700. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $170. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $21,348.29. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.02. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $8,380.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $92.10. My average cost, $60. My total return, $9,630. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $168.18. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,569. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $64.18. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $1,296.
This is a margin account. My margin total is $88,275.47. My margin used is $51,383.41. My options collateral is $32,900. This leaves me with $3,992.06 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $30,000. $751.68. This is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $9.17. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So yeah, like I mentioned already before, today is a huge red day for me. I lost a ton of money, over $9,000 in one single day. I've made a video before previously about how I lost $9,000 in a week, but in a day, that's a huge loss in a single day. What happened today was Amazon reported. And as you can see, people are not happy about how their earnings went. During the day, it was down 1.59%, but after hours, after they reported earnings, they were down another 7.53% after hours. It's crazy. And this makes up a huge chunk of my portfolio. Amazon, I have 300 shares of Amazon. So the fact that it's down about 10% overall in one single day, that had a huge effect on my portfolio. As you can see, if we look at today's return, I am down $5,094.66 just for my Amazon shares alone. I am down over $5,000. Not only that, but SoFi was down a lot today too. SoFi, I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. And as you can see today, SoFi was down 4.84% during the day. And then after hours, it's down another 2.30%. So overall, SoFi was down over 7% today. So because Amazon and SoFi both make a huge part of my portfolio and they are both down today by a lot during the day and after hours, that's why I am down over $9,000 in one single day today. Here's an article on Yahoo Finance. It says Amazon stock tumbles on weaker than expected sales outlook. Amazon stock fell as much as 6% in after hours trading Thursday after the company reported third quarter sales guidance that missed analyst estimates. The company guided to a range of 154 billion to 158.5 billion in sales for the period compared to analyst forecasts of $158.43 billion, according to Bloomberg data. The report wrapped a wave of big tech results that have flashed warnings that investors have limited patience for massive AI spending. Any weakness in the core business has heightened the scrutiny on Wall Street. Even as the retail and cloud giant brought home earnings per share of $1.26, beating estimates of $1.04, and nearly doubling profits from the same period last year, investors focused instead on the report's weaknesses. Amazon generated revenue of $148 billion, a touch below the $148.8 billion the analysts expected, but even the slight miss failed to impress. The company's booming advertising segment, which has routinely grown by double-digit percentages, continued to show strength, but that segment Two came in just below expectations, registering $12.8 billion in revenue versus the $13 billion expected. A bright spot of the report came from its cloud business, Amazon Web Services. AWS raked in $26.3 billion in revenue compared to the $26 billion expected and well above the $22.1 billion during the same time last year. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the pain today. Over $9,000 lost in one single day. Amazon and SoFi, which both make up a huge portion of my portfolio, they're both down a lot of percentage points today. So I'm feeling the hurt. Now, I do think I can eventually recover from this, but damn, this is painful to feel in one single day down over $9,000. It's crazy. Anyways, that's all I have to report for this portfolio update. I lost over $9,000 in one single day. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. 
and I will continue making more portfolio updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.